In today's video, I'm going to show you a very quick tip on how to find vacuum leaks or even exhaust leaks, the type of exhaust leaks that you can hear a ticking or popping sound, but you have a very difficult time of pinpointing the exact location. Usually when a vacuum leak occurs, it's going to come from a hose that's dried out, a bad connection, or a piece of plastic that's damaged. But if you can't find it and it's more difficult, some people like to take gas like you see here. You'd have the engine idling, and it's going to be rough idling, of course. You'd open up the gas, and you'd let the gas flow around the hoses and different fittings. And if you see the RPM of the engine change, you're going to know you have the general area where the vacuum leak occurs. Sometimes it's not going to work because you can't get the tip of this down into certain areas where the leak may be. And you also have the risk of the gas getting around the engine and with a spark, maybe possibly from a wire, going between the wire and the engine and then you can have the gas ignite. So let me show you a different way that you can easily identify a vacuum leak anywhere on your engine or even an exhaust leak, the type that makes a ticking sound or a popping sound while the engine is running. So what I came up with is right here, only two bucks, very small funnel. You're going to place this right against your ear tight, cover up your whole ear. And then this side, you're going to move around different areas where there's vacuum fittings, vacuum modules, and you're going to listen. And as soon as you detect an area where there's damage, you're going to hear it very clearly in this tube, which I'm going to show you momentarily. Now the problem I had with this engine was right over here, I was getting a loud hissing sound, and the engine was running extremely rough. It turns out, when I put this over here and moved it around, the sound was pretty loud, but when I went in here, it got louder, and as I went under, even louder. And what I discovered is what you see right over here. As you just saw using this funnel and tube, I was able to easily identify the source of this large vacuum leak, a failure of an O-ring on cylinder number three's fuel injector. And guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thanks for watching.